Welcome to another episode of how free weights are killing your gains. Today we are going to be going over how free weights might just just might be killing your bicep gains and we're going to be going over just normal curls so uh, you know everybody talks about how free weights are always better than using machines or using cables and if you did not see my last video I talked about how free weights are killing your shoulder gains but today we're going over how they just might be killing your bicep gains so without further ado let's get right into it Alrighty, so if you have ever done any type of dumbbell curl inside of the gym, a standing dumbbell curl, the conventional way, this is most likely how you've done the exercise. And I hate to tell you, but this is not the most beneficial way to do curls. And it's actually not that, you know, it's not really that beneficial when it comes to building muscle and hypertrophy gains, which is what we're going for when performing the dumbbell curl. So what exactly is wrong with this movement? Well, First off, at the very, very bottom, our arm is straight and the dumbbell is hanging by our side. There's actually no tension on the bicep. The way you know free weights work, it works with gravity. Gravity's always pointing downwards. Uh, rather than using a cable machine, the force is not always pointing downward. The force is going to be where the cable is coming from. But with free weights, the force is always pointing downward. So the maximum amount of tension on the bicep is at 90 degrees. When you start uh, lowering your arm, you start losing tension, and at the very bottom, there's actually no tension. Now, you can rock your elbow forward just a little bit, but the angle is not very large, and there won't be that much tension. And same at the very top of the movement. The way gravity works at the very top of the movement, there's not that much tension on the bicep, and the, and the, the fact of the matter is that from 90 degrees when your elbow is flexed at 90 degrees all the way to the full contraction that is where our bicep is the strongest so why would it make sense to you know at that very top why would it make sense for the tension to decrease when our muscle is actually stronger so uh here we're doing cable curls now this is this is one way to f uh, solve the problem of not having any tension at the bottom of the movement. If the cable and my forearm were in a straight line, then I would have no tension. You can kind of think of that cable as gravity. If that cable was pointing straight down at all times, then that would act like a dumbbell. But since the cable is coming from another direction, then that is where the force is coming from. And when my arm is by my side, I still have tension on the bicep. And that is key here. And as I continue to flex my arm I still have tension on the bicep you can see the angle that my forearm and the cable makes but there is one flaw with this exercise and that is going to be uh, once I start flexing past 90 degrees my elbows at 90 degrees and the strongest part of the the uh, muscle contraction from 90 degrees to fully flexed there is a problem and there's a flaw with using cables and the way that I'm using them here and that is going to be once your elbow is flexed past 90 degrees, you can see right here that once you go so far, the cable is actually in line with your forearm, which means there is no tension on the bicep, and that is definitely a problem. That is where our bicep is the strongest, so we should have more tension there, right? So there's actually there's a way to fix this, and here it is. We throw in the bands. So the point of this is at the bottom you can see that the angle that the cable in my forearm makes is about 90 degrees and then you can also see once you know since the muscle is stronger the more it contracts so from 90 degrees when the elbow is flexed 90 degrees all the way up to fully flex that is the strongest part of the bicep so we should have more resistance not more resistance not less right so that is what the band does the more i flex my bicep you can see that band is coming i'm standing on it and it's coming straight up from the floor and the fact of the matter is, since it's coming straight up from the floor and a band increases resistance, the more it's stretched. So with this band, the more I'm flexing my bicep, the harder it gets. And it's almost like going into an isometric hold. And then when my arm is straight and my elbow is not flexed at all, that cable is making almost a 90 degree angle with my forearm. And that means I still have tension at the bottom of the movement. And as soon as we start flexing the bicep, the tension starts increasing more and more. And like I said, the strongest part of the bicep is 90 degrees to fully flexed. And that is when the resistance is the highest. Alrighty, so that might be how free weights are killing your bicep gains. I hope that made sense. I hope that exercise makes sense. Make sure to give it a try and make sure to give the last exercise a try as well. 
and let me know what y'all think down below in the comments. I hope it all made sense, and I hope y'all all enjoyed this video. If it's your first time stopping on the channel, please subscribe, and as always, guys, thank y'all so much for watching, and keep getting stronger.